Hey there, I'm Tim, and I want to give a review of the Hilby Gobi calorie counting device. The, I've had this device for a week now, I've been using it, and I just want to provide my thoughts and feelings about it. I guess overall, I would rank this as three and a half out of five stars. Uh, it's definitely an innovative device, I think it's really great. But it's not without its quirks, which I guess isn't surprising for a Generation 1 device. Now I would say what I like about it is that it does automatically count your calories that you've consumed. Uh, if you've ever tried to manually do that, you know what a pain it is, how much effort it takes, and how error prone it is. And this device, it makes it so much simpler to go ahead and automatically count the calories that you've consumed during the day. And so what it means for me, at least, is I'm making much better eating decisions. So I can see at the end of the day, say 9 o'clock at night, that between the calories I've consumed and calories I've burned, I'm negative 100 calories. I think, boy, do I really want to eat that chocolate chip cookie and go into the positive calorie count now and go to bed in an hour? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, and it's also helping me stay away from the donuts because I don't want to see the spike in calories. And it's helping me eat more fruits and vegetables. And it's helping me uh, work out a bit more. So the device, it's paying off at the bottom line that it is helping me create a more healthier diet and lifestyle. Uh, another thing I like about it is that it's waterproof. So for me, I go ahead and I wear it in the shower. And the owner's manual says that it's waterproof up to about 10 feet. So you go ahead and go swimming with it with no problem either. Uh, the last thing I like about it is that you can also uh, monitor your blood pressure automatically. So it's not quite the pain that it used to be with putting it on the cuff. You go ahead and pump it up all right, and go ahead and track it over time. So this device makes it a lot easier to keep track of your blood pressure too, uh, if that's a cause of concern for you. Now, on the not so good side, like generation device, like I said, it has a lot of quirks. Uh, what I don't like about it, first of all, is that it's really, it can be really problematic to sync up with your cell phone app sometimes. It's a Bluetooth device, and sometimes I'll be holding my cell phone I mean, right next to, to this device, and it can't Bluetooth sync up. And I'll go ahead, I'll turn it off, turn it on, and I have to fiddle with it. And sometimes I can be wrestling with it for 10 minutes and still not get it to sync up between the two. Uh, they don't have it working consistently yet. Uh, another thing I really don't like about it is I can have different modes, but you only have one button here on the side for navigation. So, and it's hard to tell what mode you're in and what's going on and how to navigate from one mode to the next mode. So sometimes I'll press it and I'll say hello. Other times I'll, I'll display the time. Other times I'll just display food, which means I'm about to eat. The, so it's hard to tell what's going on because the navigation is just one button. Uh, it makes it so irritating uh, to flip through different modes uh, and know what your, your device is currently supposed to be doing at this moment. Uh, I also wish they displayed the time. Of course, I wear it uh, as a watch and I'm so used to the feeling of a watch that I find myself reflexively looking like this all the time. And I wish it displayed the time as a default mode, but it doesn't. Uh, another thing I don't like about it is the rubber bands. The, they're a little clunky. And since the rubber, of course, you wear it, uh, you're perspiring. And I found uh, that, of course, it doesn't soak up the sweat. So as a health device, I'm wearing it constantly, all day, every day. And, of course, this uh, perspiration accumulates and gets uncomfortable after a while. Uh, I can imagine, uh, too, for ladies. I mean, this fits me okay. Uh, ladies with more dainty wrists, uh, they're going to be a bit overwhelmed by it. And also, so, since I can imagine they're more fashion conscious, wearing a, a big device like this with this clunky band, uh, it's not going to go ahead and work as well. Um, you know, it leaves me to wonder if they'd ever made an uh, ankle version, like an ankle monitoring bracelet, how that would work. Uh, the last thing I don't like about it is the charging. This has two connectors on back, and there's a little cradle that sets into. The problem is, is that the arms, since they're rubber and they're not too pliable, they overwhelm the cradle. So it sits in the cradle like this. But when you go ahead and you rest it, all right, the armbands keep on flexing the device up, and so it no longer makes contact with the cradle. So I had to go ahead and create a little stand to put the cradle on so I could go ahead and rest the device on the cradle for it to charge. Uh, and I guess I'll say the last thing I don't like is it does have a shorter life uh, charging time. 
The owner's manual says is that a full charge should last up to three days. And I've never made it past one full day with a full charge. Now, on the good side, it does charge faster than my cell phone. I mean, typically when I get up in the morning and I'm low activity, I'm just getting started. I'll go ahead and I'll charge it up for the day. But it definitely doesn't hold its charge for three days in my experience. So anyway, I hope this uh, helps you make a better, more informed decision if this is a good device for you. You know, I would say if uh, automated calorie counting uh, would be of great benefit to your health and your life, go ahead and get this device now. If you're, quarter, if you're kind of on the borderline, I'd say, you know, go ahead and wait until uh, they resolve some of these small quirks and get the second generation device.